Hey everyone, this is Mason Zero MTG. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Core 2021 and Popper Cube. This set has a surprising number of powerful commons that I think can see play in our humble format. From strict upgrades to entire build arounds, these are my top 5 commons for Popper Cube from Core 2021. Hobble Fiend. Hobble Fiend is a nice little 2 mana devil that provides a lot. Trample on a 2-1 isn't amazing at first, but it has a low-cost sacrifice ability that puts plus one plus one counters on it. Only one mana to sacrifice something on a common is pretty nice. No need to tap or pay additional costs. This is a must-have for any cube with a sacrifice theme, as it can become a game winner very quickly. Pride Malkin. Phrases like each creature on a common card should not be ignored. In this case, Pride Malkin is a three mana creature that provides trample to all of your creatures that have a plus one plus one counter on them. And surprisingly, it supports itself, letting you put a plus one plus one counter on any creature, thus giving it trample. The only other common with this text is Crowned Ceratok, which while it has trample itself, does cost one more mana. I think any popper cube with a plus one plus one counter theme in green could make use of Pride Malkin. Rousing Reed. Auras are not generally that popular in cube unless they're removing an opposing creature, but Rousing Reed does a fair bit. It's similar to Cartouche of Knowledge, but lets you draw two cards and then discard one rather than just drawing one card. That sort of card filtering is always nice to have, and granting something plus one plus one in flying can sometimes turn the game in your favor. Rambunctious Mutt. Rambunctious Mutt may not look like much, but it's actually quite unique. This is the only white common creature that can destroy an artifact or enchantment upon entering the battlefield. There are a lot of white commons that can easily destroy enchantments, but those cards don't always get artifacts tacked on. 5 mana is a lot for a white creature, but a 3-4 body is not bad considering it has disenchant stapled onto it. Plus, just look at him, he's such a good boy. Village Rites I don't think there's much to say about Village Rites. It's a 1 mana Alter's Reap, that's it. This should definitely replace Alter's Reap if you're running it already, but other popular cards it could replace are Knight's Whisper or Sign in Blood. Read the Bones is probably still a superior card draw spell in black, but drawing 2 cards for 1 mana and a creature? is a fantastic rate, especially if you don't mind that creature dying in a sacrifice based deck. Well, there we have it. Those are my top 5 cards for Popper Cube for Core 2021. There are quite a few cool commons in this set with many more that I could have mentioned, but I think these have the best chance of seeing play, and I will certainly put most of them into my cube as soon as I figure out what to remove for them. If you like this video, let me know by leaving a like, subscribe for more magic content, and I'll see you all in the next Mason Zero MTG video.